every day. My heart pounds when I see you walk into the club room. I play it safe, put my hands on my hips and keep my guard up for you. Though you can't tell, I'm visibly shaking. I am lucky that you're oblivious as can be. But if you start to notice my actions, what will you do when you finally see me? What will you do when you meet the real me? Hey, oh, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to Behind Closed Doors. Hehe, <laughs> if you thought it was over, it's not. We still have the menu with Bloody Monica on it. And I guess Sayori and Yuri are still alive, so they could do something. Anyways, time to get into the game. Hello? It's so dark here. I felt the game cl crash. It was agonizing. It can't have been much fun for you either, Spaghetto. <laughs> I'm talking to you, and I don't even know if you're there. I failed. I said I'd delete Monica if she did anything to Natsuki, but I didn't realize that. Well, I didn't realize that her death was inevitable. That there was nothing we could have done, no choices were given. The game tried to rewrite itself without her, but I can't let Noodle Boy forget. I can't let it simply replace her as long as she's never existed. It might be too late now, but I want to fix this. If you delete Monica, she'll simply take us down with her. This world will be gone. But if you do, but if I delete her, she'll be gone for good. And then I'll become the president again. So I'll be able to talk to you and see you. Well, did did it work? Let's check. Yep, it did. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Spaghetto? Uh, uh, what if I say no? Hmm. Alright, fine, yeah, I can see you. <laughs> yay! I can see you too, so everything is going as planned. Let's see. There are a lot of files here, so it may take me a while to find the right one. Um... Oh, ah! Every other file just disappeared. There's only one left. I guess we have to choose this one. I hope it's the right thing to do. Uh, th that doesn't sound right. Console, what's wrong? Oh. Um. Well, can you restore her like you did with Yuri? Well, that looked like it worked. Is she back in the character folder, folder Spaghetto? Let's check. Oh, hey, she is. Awesome. <laughs> Yay! So if I try and run the script again... That fixed it. Well, there's a whole script here, but I can't actually see inside it. Even if we don't know what's going to happen, let's hope for the best. I've done all I can. It's up to you, Spaghetto. Okay, um... Oh, restore hidden killer. Oh, gosh. Wait! We're, we're no better off than before. I'm, I'm sorry, Spaghetto. It looks like we're going to get the ending that broke the game again. Not this time. Huh? No, you're right. You're a noodle boy in this reality. We're staying with our original plan since having killer.chr in the code will cause errors. So when the game looks for you, um, looks to you for answers on which path to choose, you can steer noodle boy towards the one that will have a good result. We can save her. You're a good friend, Spaghetto. Thank you for being here for us. Oh, thanks, Sayori. That's so sweet of you. Sayori stands up and hovers by the door. So is the killer file actually here if I, um, show hidden files? So, um, details, 
hidden items. Like, is that actually... Nah, okay, the killer isn't in this folder. What about in, um, the game section? Let's try that, um, details. We'll search for killer. Nope, alright, he's not here. So he already stands up and hovers by the door. <clears throat> I... I... <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying not to think about um, how to save Natsuki, but it keeps like distracting me. All right, so I should really begin the next book of the Markov series. Yori joins her at the door, giving a shy smile. But we'll be, we'll all be together tomorrow, right? Natsuki has gathered all my DVDs into her lap and is looking at me with bright eyes. Right. Have a safe journey home, you two. I ship it. I watch them leave and I wink at Natsuki and listen as they talk between themselves. Before the front door closes, Natsuki and I giggle and are alone again because we ship them. I mean, <clears throat> today has been fun. She suddenly sighs, though something has just occurred to her. Guys, we must protect her. She is back and we will protect her. But I should leave too. We can totally meet up tomorrow though, right? I have a feeling that something terrible will happen. Okay, well, I'm gonna save here. Hmm. Sleepover. Sleepover? I can't. My dad will- My dad will kill me. He can't do anything to harm you if you're here with me. I know you don't want to get me involved, but I want to help you. I'm here for you, and if anything has happened to you, I wouldn't forgive myself. So please, tell me the truth. You know you can trust me, Suki. Who is a dummy like me going to tell? I try and ease, ease her nerves with a joke, but she's tense and uneasy. I won't pretend to know what you're going through, but you can talk to me. I do know that it's scary to admit when someone is hurting you, because you think they'll become worse. I promise, on hand on heart, that if you choose to confide in me, I'll do everything I can to help you. You don't have to, but the offer is there, okay? Finally, she looks at me again with her eyes feeling with, filling with tears. Noodle boy, I'm terrified of my father. He hates me. He, he's always shouting, and when he gets angry, he, he hits me. He, he never feeds me, and that's why I'm so small. I pull Natsuki into my arms and hold her against my beating heart. Nothing I do makes him happy, except... She stops, and I begin to softly stroke her hair, staying silent. Anything I say might cause her to change her mind, and I'm finally hearing the truth. He, he makes me sleep in his bed. Her voice fades to nearly a whisper. And we, we don't sleep. Does she mean... I glance out at Suki with that question in my eyes, and she nods sadly. A thousand images flood through my mind, ranging from beating the bastard to death to taking Suki with me to a new town and not telling anyone um, we've gone. Calming my thoughts and easing my anger, I realize that she's trying to wriggle out of my arms. I release her and sink down on my bed. So, you know everything. She wipes her tears away, staring at me. What happens now? It's up for me to change this. Time to kill him. Wait here, okay? I'm going to fix this. Okay. Stay safe, Noodle Boy. I stand up and leave my room and I head downstairs in my kitchen. Rooting through the drawers, I locate the biggest knife I own and slip it into my bag. Just calling the police isn't enough. He's done too much to be let off with just jail time. I'm taking matters into my own hands. As I make my way outside, I begin to plan my course of action. He's probably much older than me, so he'll move slower. I won't even let him know that I'm coming. The element of surprise will be on my side. 
I make my way to Natsuki's house and knock on the door. Yes? His eyes match Natsuki's, but I better make sure before I attack. Are you Natsuki's father? Yes, who's ask it? He doesn't get a chance to utter another word as I pull the knife from my bag and plunge it into his chest. A look of surprise flickers in his expression and he staggers backwards. Keeping him impaled, I, am, I storm forwards, forcing him into the house with every step. Finally stopping, I bury the point of the knife in the wall, the handle pressed right against his chest. You corrupted an innocent girl. You violated her. You made her petrified to even be alive. I glared at him, twisting the knife in the wound. How does it feel? Who, who are you? I pull the knife loose and stab him again, blood soaking my clothes. Answer me! I can see the regret in his eyes, but it's only because he got caught. S scared. He mutters, coughing up a lung full of crimson. So you should be. I don't even know your name, but I know that you are beyond scum. You deserve everything you're getting. His gaze locks on mine and a smirk plays across his lips. So did she. I read mist descends over my vision and the most heinous of anger overtakes me. Yanking the blade from his test, I jam it into his neck and begin sawing on the bone there. I don't stop until there's a hollow thud and his head hits the floor. Breathing deeply, I step back, my palms sweating, my heart pounding, and mouth dry. I just killed someone. How can I live with myself after this? With trembling hands, I turn the knife to myself. Well, I guess Sayori's got my back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really didn't expect to choose that the, the, such a dark choice, but I couldn't help it. I blinked twice, finding myself alone in Natsuki's house. How did I get here? Noodle boy? The police have arrested Natsuki's father. You should get back to her. She's waiting for you. Without a word, I nod gently and leave the house, still feeling a little confused. I find Natsuki waiting outside for me, smiling warmly. Noodle boy? I called the cops on your father and they've arrested him. What the heck? Okay, well, I guess my um, cord isn't plugged in all the way. Hold on. I should have double checked that before recording. Apologize. Hey, so um, welcome back. And I apologize um, for the interruption. I had accidentally blown a fuse in my outfit and had to go flip on the circuit breaker, so it wasn't my cord, it just was an issue with having too many things plugged into the wall. And I apologize. Anyways, let's continue this. It's over. Natsuku, it's Natsuku. Natsuki snuggles into me, cuddling me tightly as tears of relief stream down her face. That was so brave of you, Noodle Boy. I'm glad I told you. I'm just happy that you're safe, Suki. Now that he's in prison, he can't hurt you anymore. And you can come live with me for as long as you want. Mikasa es yo casa. <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Since we're speaking in different languages. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Italian. Uh, Ashima broccoli, noodle boy. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm, well, you are kind of cute. I mean, <clears throat> I grin and blush softly. This is why I gave her the nickname of Suki. Um, why do you guys keep speaking in Italian? I don't speak Italian. Anada o moto Suki Ninaru. But, so I don't need subtitles when I recall this conversation. Natsuki, <laughs> giving Natsuki a, TV, a teasing smile, I just... I gently open the door. I mean, I gently prompt her and she pouts. I love you, Doodle Boy. I love you more. Now we're done being all sappy. Shouldn't we go home and get something to eat? Right. 
How does pizza sound? I can't cook to save my life. I'll make it something if you want. Or pizza does sound good. All snuggled up watching Supa Inu. Yeah. Then what are we waiting for? Beaming at Natsuki, I take her hand in mine and she threads our fingers as we walk back to my house. Oh gosh. Cold blood ending. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> oh hey, the menu's the different now. Woo! So I got the cold blood ending, because I'm yeah. Let's check the files. Anything here that I need to worry about? Nope. I don't think so. Let's check the game. Uh, let's reload. Hmm. Nope. Not seeing anything. Uh, nothing really. I think that I've already seen, right? Nope. Okay. One thing I wanted to check. What is the note 1 and 2 and 3? Hello? Oh. Note from this creator to whoever was playing this mod. This is only a de Oh, okay. These are just um, past things. Okay. Well, that was Behind Closed Doors. Honestly, that was an amazing mod, and I loved playing through that. Fluffy, you did an amazing job on it, even though I hated you after episode 3 for a little while. Just a little while, but you fixed it in the end. Anyways, um... Comment down below what you guys thought of this mod. It really had lots of plot twists that I didn't expect, which I appreciated though. It was nice being thrown for a loop again for once. And, um, I'm sorry, I didn't expect to choose such a dark path, but I did. Anyways, comment down below what mods you'd like to um, see me try in the future or in the Discord in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I gotta go watch movies in Natsuki, so bye guys! Hey again! Glad you're back, gonna read some more manga next to me. Uh, not that I really want you to sit here though, so actually...